Happening now, police investigating a homicide. It happened in Borger early this morning. A suspect is in custody this evening at the Borger Police Department on murder charges. Stephen Graves has more. Stephen? Lisa Larry, a young man is dead tonight after he was stabbed to death during an alleged altercation. Now, neighbors and his friends are remembering him after this tragic incident. Today, this home is turned into a crime scene after a homicide took place at this residence on a quiet street in Borger. Our investigative division came out and began working the scene. It is an active investigation. Police say it was early this morning when they were called to the 1000 block of Thram Street for an aggravated assault. Upon arrival, they found 27-year-old Ryan Gilstrap suffering from stab wounds. He would later die at a nearby hospital. He was not listed as a resident at that address. 29-year-old Shay Teal is in custody on murder charges this evening after police think he's responsible for the crime. Today, authorities canvassed the quiet neighborhood looking for some type of clue for a motive. It's crazy. It's just, to me, it's kind of getting out of control. Gene Lusk lives right next to the house where the incident occurred. He explains his feelings after this unusual crime. Uncomfortable, especially being that close. You know, I don't really worry about it too much because where I'm at, most people know me. Meanwhile, the ones closest to the victim remember him as a loving father and boyfriend. In a statement, Gilstrap's girlfriend says Ryan was the best man and father. I love him so much. We had many years together. I'll always love him, and he'll forever be in my heart. Um, anytime we have something like this go on in, in, in a community our size, a small community, you know, uh, everybody knows each other. and. And our hearts go out to the family. Uh. Now the suspect, Shay Teal, will appear before a judge tomorrow for a bond hearing. Reporting from the Kennedy Broadcast Center, Stephen Graves.